What is up everybody? Welcome to this week's Jesse Speck YouTube video. This episode is really important and awesome because today I'm celebrating the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel, Jesse Speck YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank all of you guys for your amazing support and kind words in the thousands of comments that you've been letting me on all my videos. I really appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. and. Since it's the one year anniversary, I want to make a special video with a detailed, uh, just I want to take you along through a whole day on the racetrack with me with the MR2. And I know you guys like the MR2 content. So today is racing content with the MR2. And anyway, without further ado, this is going to be really exciting. So let's dive right into it. Join me. Here we are at our local racetrack in neighboring France. I had to rent a trailer to come here. Here you see some beautiful lotuses. This is a Lotus Elise Supercharged. Here you see good old Obama re chilling during the lunch break with his HKS Supercharged GT86. We also have a Miata. This is the tow truck from my company. The MR2 cooling down a bit. Here another Elise, an Elise S1. Really beautiful example here. Here you see my 2ZZ swapped Toyota MR2. It's the same engine as in a few of those cars, so I'm lucky that they invite me to come and drive with them. Here you see a really stunning S1 Lotus Elise. Has like 150 or 160 horsepower, has been modified. It's really one of my favorite designs, to be honest, from a looks perspective. Here you see Tom's car, a Lotus Elise S2. He's the guy who organized the race for the track day. Many thanks to him. Also, we had a really cool car coming today, this prototype with a bike engine, 750 engine and you're gonna see this car rips like it, it gets so much g-force that the driver actually started to feel sick because it's so it has so much lateral grip and it's so wild to drive all right so let's head back to the car it's slowly ready for going into it and going for a few laps. Um, before I was filming this part actually, I did some breaking in of the car on the track. So as you know, this car has been fully assembled by myself and tuned as well on the dyno. I've done roughly maybe four hours or five hours of dyno tuning on it. And I took the car for in the morning to just make sure if the mapping and everything is on point and if the car works well and I'm really happy of the work I did because the car is working flawlessly no knock no scary stuff happening so I'm really happy all right guys welcome to this week's YouTube video I'm gonna go for a drive with the MR2 Obama's here as well you guys know him with his GD86 We'll be filming some stuff as well with him today. Anyhow, so today is just a day for racing with other people, mostly Lotus owners, and we're gonna go for a little drive and see if all how the car works and see if I can get an actual little bit better lap time than with the one ZZ that I used to drive previously. So now new engine, new transmission, and new tires as well. I have now Yokohama. A052. This is a 
severe step up and I want to thank Yokohama Switzerland for supporting me. They helped me realizing this project and getting better spec tires and I want to thank you them very much Yokohama Tire Switzerland for helping me in this project. So anyway, let's get ready and start driving. Gonna try getting some lap times and some videos from outside as well. So let's do that. Just need to make sure my phone doesn't fly around the whole time. That's one thing I don't like about the MR2. The fact that there isn't much place to put these kind of things. Hmm. Okay, let's start recording. Okay, we're recording outside. Just put it in like that. Okay. Getting everything. Keys. Start the engine. Ding. All right, let's take the car out for a little try. See how it goes. By the way, I made an interesting mistake today. I actually um, was driving around with my EGT sensors in Fahrenheit. So I, had, I was at a thousand Fahrenheit and I didn't know it. I thought it was Celsius. So I had some really scary temperatures going on, but yeah, anyway, so it's interesting to see that even these kind of stupid settings are really important to always check them out. Okay, the Lotus guys are driving by. I'm gonna let them go. Let's go. Warm up the car. at all. It's very difficult to hit the gear.
Fucking quick shifter! Fucking hell! Okay, so let's get off the track, let everything cool down, take it a bit easy. Everything has been getting really hot, including the brakes and the tires, so let's cool down for a bit and go into the next session from there. So you've seen the first session driving around the car is really fast actually it keeps up well even with more powerful and lighter cars so I'm really happy with the performance it's having however I am struggling with this quick shifter so that is really one thing on my top priorities to get rid of as soon as I uh, get back home I really want to remove this short shifter because I'm really not happy with how it feels and, and actually prevents me from getting the the gears in at the right moment so you can see my face here I look really like I'm overheating but it was like over 30 30 degrees on that track day so really extremely hot on that day but it's really awesome how the car was performing as you've heard before I've decided to run it at AFR 12 I actually made it a bit richer than I was doing previously I usually run them at 13 but since the car was so hot and the track as well I felt I'd put it a little bit richer just for safety reasons and I don't feel like I lost a lot of power but anyway this is just to make sure that my EGTs stay in comfortable temperatures around 500 degrees that's the maximum I wanted to see on my driving today, so that's what was going on as well. Alright, now that everything is warm, the brakes, the tires, the engine, and not overheating, I'm heading back out and I'm going to up the pace and I'm going to try to get some better lap times. Just as a reminder, last year, roughly at the same time of the year, in my 1ZZ, my best time was 1 minute and 1 second. So let's see if I could do something better this year. Well, what do we have here? 
Is that Obama? Oh, and Tom in front of him with the blue release. Okay, let's try hunting them down a little bit. Let's see what Obama has to offer. Spitting fire. Anyway, I'll race with him later. Let's go for the blue Ellies first. Go! Oh well, I'll go in front for a little then. Okay, so I've caught back up to Obama. It's time to do a battle. Let's race each other and see who's faster. I'll let you guys be the judges. Okay, so Obama's best time for the day is 1 minute and 2 seconds. He also has a much heavier car, has a lot of flame spitting out, but of course um, he does have a weight disadvantage compared to me, he's much heavier and he also has only the Yokohama AD08Rs, which are pretty old as well, so it's a bit harder for him to go faster on the racetrack. Ho oh ho, what do we have here? A prototype with a bike engine. This is interesting. Let's try to chase him a bit. By the way, this is what happens when you try to follow a car that is much lighter than you and that can get through corners faster than your car. You end up off the track. Go! Let's see what's the best time I could get chasing the prototype.
That's a pretty good lap time. 59.9 is already a considerable increase compared to what we were running just before. So things are getting interesting. Let's follow him a little bit more with all the little skids he's doing all over the place and see what has to come. Okay, he's letting me pass, so I'm gonna go in front a little bit. Whoops! Little bit understeer right there. Set me right off the track. Okay guys, go in front. I'll start chasing you again. Whoa, we just shaved off another half a second. This is looking promising. Who knows, we might actually go into 58 second territory today. Okay, he's letting me by again. I hope this time I don't mess it up. Anyway, let's go. Boom! Back view. Let me show you how it looks like when the GoPro is on the rear window. Enjoy. Oh yeah, 59.3. That's another 0.2 seconds faster than before. Don't ask me why I was filming when we were going backwards. But anyway, I'm happy to see improvement. I am really fighting here. I really want to get into the 58 second realm. So let's keep pushing. I kept pushing and with the g-force the GoPro landed in the field again. Thank God my good friend Obama found the camera really quickly and picked it up 
and we could retrieve the data and the footage safely. Okay, let's give it another try. I'm still after the 58 second time. All the other guys from the Lotus Club also did not manage to go under 59. So this has become really an obsession of mine to start pushing enough and getting into there. So let's warm up and let me show you from the view inside of the car to see what it will look like and see if we can actually crack the 58 second mark. nine flat we're getting there I did quite a few little stupid mistakes in this run and I still got 59 almost 58 so I'm sure I can do better okay so let's try again and keep pushing Okay, after all that joy, I felt like I had to get some other video perspective. So I mounted my camera on the front bumper as low as possible. So you can actually get a cool perspective from the front of the car and really get the sensations of speed. So let's attack one more time. Go!
Okay, 59.3, not bad, still very good time, under one minute. Let's leave the track, clean up, and this brings us to the end of the track session. I'll be doing a small conclusion of the video in a few seconds. Anyway, already, thanks a lot for watching until here. This has been a pretty long video, but I hope you're enjoying it. All right, we're back in the office. Thank you guys for sticking around until now. This video is way over 30 minutes. So I hope in spite of that, it still was very interesting for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there's also one more thing I wanna say. This video commemorates the one year of the launching of my YouTube channel. So I was hoping to reach a thousand subscribers in one year. We're not quite there, but we're getting there really close. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please like this video and subscribe so we can crack the 1000 subscriber mark. And for all of you who don't know that, as soon as we crack the 1000 subscriber score, I'm actually doing a competition with one of my friends who gets there first. I will be giving out to five of you guys among my subscribers selected totally randomly. One of my Jesse Speck YouTube caps, uh, in camouflage green or gray camouflage and I will be giving you also through my company a $30 coupon to five of you guys who've uh, won the challenge basically. So feel free to subscribe, like and please share this video on your social media. It would help me tremendously. I am so thankful to you guys and maybe just to give you one appetizer for the, one of the next videos coming out. Basically what you've seen in this video is I've gone down to 58.9 seconds, best time. Previously I had with the 1ZZ I had 50, no, one minute, one second and a half basically. So one, one minute, 1.5. And we've decreased it like considerably over two seconds. And I've gathered data in both of these track sessions. So I know exactly where the information lies on what actually increased my lap time. So of course the engine is a contributing factor, but I also have the Yokohama tires. So let's look at, together at the data and the best uh, laps of both of these years and compare them. So that's something, a video I wanna do. And so you guys can look forward to that. And I sincerely wanna thank you for all the support you've given me until now. I'm really thankful. And I'm looking forward to showing you the next videos and I will see you next week. Peace.